AI fever suddenly gripped the whole universe, and the WordPress world is not an exception. Elementor is the first page builder to offer native AI integration. So, if you're curious like we are and want to experience the power of AI, buckle up and let's test out the Elementor AI feature together. Hi, my name is Valerie, you're watching the Motopress YouTube channel, and the most logical way to start this video will be with the definition. If you're new to Elementor or AI, you might wonder what Elementor AI is. So, Elementor AI is a feature that merges the worlds of AI and website building. Elementor AI is crafted purposely for usage with the Elementor editor. Consequently, Elementor users don't have to switch to other tools each and every time to generate and collect new content. On top of that, Elementor AI has some pre-engineered settings that allow you to generate codes for respective elements and implement them immediately. Elementor AI feature is available in both the free and pro versions of Elementor. However, some advanced AI capabilities and features are only obtainable in the Elementor Pro version. So now I suggest taking a closer look at the comparison table. Free versus Pro. What's the difference? Let's find out. Elementor has added AI capabilities to a multitude of controls. Sure, not all editor controls support AI capabilities. For example, switcher controls and select controls don't have an AI button. However, text-based controls, code controls, and media controls have gotten a new AI button. The good news is that we can try some AI capabilities for free. And this is what we're going to do in today's video. And each WordPress user will have an Elementor AI free trial once they connect to an Elementor account, which can be created for free as well. But please be aware that you'll get some limited free credits at the beginning. And once they expire, you have to upgrade to any premium package of the Elementor AI. Also, you should know, even if you're an Elementor Pro user, you must buy an AI package to access the Elementor AI. Otherwise, you'll get only a limited free trial credit. To start our journey, make sure your Elementor plugin is installed and activated. Users can try out Elementor AI by using Elementor version uh, 3.13 and above, and you can download it for free from the WordPress repository if you don't have it. Also, remember you need to have your Elementor account that I mentioned earlier up and running. First, I'm going to create a post with Elementor. It can be a page. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Next, after selecting the structure, I'm dragging a heading widget to the canvas. By going to the Content tab, you'll notice a three-star icon hovering over which Write with AI will appear. Click this icon. This will bring up a pop-up with a search box. And all you have to do is command the right prompt in the box. You will get some prompt suggestions below, which you can use if needed. 
And once your prompt is ready, press the Generate Text button. If you're satisfied with the result, press the Use Text button. Now I want to add a text editor widget to show you how you can refine your AI prompt and quickly get results, you know, to show the AI feature in all its glory. Again, in the content area of the widget, there will be a write with AI feature. As we've already seen, we get several other options on the pop-up. You can simplify the generated text, make it longer or shorter, fix spelling and grammatical errors, change the tone, and translate it into another language. Let's say you want to make it longer. Also, I can add some inspiring notes to it. And finally, I can even translate my text. By making your website multilingual, you can grow your audience and optimize your website for different languages and cultures. Isn't that great? Images are an essential part of any website. However, optimizing these images can be time-consuming and often requires technical knowledge. That's where Elementor AI Images comes in. You probably already know about Bing, Midjourney, and other AI tools for creating prompt-based images. Now you can do the same with Elementor AI. You can create images in Elementor using the image widget. And this is not the only method. I'll show you the second method a little bit later, so stay tuned. Uh, so right now I'm clicking the three star icon. A pop-up opens as before. You write your prompt in the first box. Uh, then I'm choosing the image type, changing the image style and aspect right here. Now let's try to generate the image. Okay, it's not actually what I was expecting. Slightly, not bad. I should have been more clear. So let's generate again. Wow, now the result is much better. Hovering your cursor on the image you like will show you the Use Image option. Clicking it, you can insert this image on your page or post. Elementor AI allows you to edit the image even before inserting it. Otherwise, you can do it after. You can refine the result by adjusting some parameters. For instance, you are free to expand your image or mark an area and edit it with the new prompt. It's possible to make the image larger and improve its resolution. What else? The AI feature allows creating new versions of the original image or you can create an image with a transparent background like that or generate a new background with a new prompt. Another boundary-breaking innovation that you get with the power of Elementor AI is the ability to apply code snippets. Now it's high time to experiment with the HTML widget. It also has the AI code wizard that helps to create HTML scripts. Let's say I want to add a subscription form. So, this is a result without writing a single line of code. 
Sure, Elementor will give you pretty good results if you want to generate simple code. But in complicated cases, Elementor may generate some errors. Uh, so please be aware of it. So we strongly recommend checking your code before publishing it and always keep a backup of your website. The second method where you can apply the AI generated image is to add image to the widget or section background. And this is also very simple. Drag and drop the widget to your canvas or, for example, I want to select the entire section by clicking the six-dotted icon, and then I go to the Style tab, press the classic icon, an image section will open after that, and here we click uh, the AI icon. The rest steps are the same as in the first method. Once you're satisfied with your generated content, click Publish to make your page or post live on your website. Elementor is an excellent tool for creating stunning, responsive, and functional websites without any coding knowledge. However, to make the most of this tool, it's a good idea to broaden its functionality with the help of extensions. Fortunately, there are a wide range of add-ons to choose from, so I can't help mentioning Stratum Elementor widgets by Motopress. Stratum is one of those add-ons, and I want to show you how it works when using Elementor AI functionality. This can be illustrated by the example of many widgets. I suggest creating a banner. By the way, it's a freemium tool, meaning you can use it for free and upgrade if you want to access extra capabilities. And first, I'm going to generate a catchy title for my banner. Hmm, I really like it. The same steps are with the description. But again, I'd like to change the tone and make my description shorter. And the final step is generating the image for the banner. We recommend experimenting with different prompts to generate a variety of images. This allows creators to find the perfect visual fit for their content. This is the final look. The banner looks amazing. And the process takes a couple of minutes. So, one of the major benefits of using Elementor AI is the, the time-saving aspect. Our conclusion about Elementor AI is that it is an excellent addition to the well-known page builder. With Elementor AI, you'll be able to create high-quality texts and even translate it into 29 different languages. Also, creators now have the ability to generate stunning visuals and create code in the HTML widget for their websites with just a few clicks. And the paid version gives you even more capabilities to use. Please share your experience with us. We would love to hear from you. Let us know what you think and what unique requests you've come up with in the comments below. And don't forget to put the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates from Motopress. See you in the next video. Bye!